Hello there. This one is called the Kudushevitz Catastrophe. And I'm not intending to be disrespectful to one of our club's leading players, the great David Kudushevitz. And I'm actually not quite clear if he was the trapper or the trapee. Now this opening is listed as an irregular line of the E6 Sicilian. But it has in fact been played thousands of times by the world's best players. So there's nothing irregular about that. After e4, c5, knight f3, e6, d4, takes, takes. Black can try the early queen b6. Okay, knight c3 is fine here. And bishop c5 hitting the knight on d4 with potential threats on f2. So white tries knight a4. And we've got a fork, a queen, and the bishop. So black throws in a check, queen a5, and hitting the knight on a4. c3 does everything, it blocks the check, and it guards the knight on a4 by releasing the queen. Now white is also intending b4, which will fork the queen and bishop, picking up a piece. So black trades in the center on d4. Bishop takes d4. Queen takes d4, and now that queen is eyeing up the juicy g7 pawn. So after knight f6, here black should play, or white should play knight c5. And this has been played by Topalov and Ivanchuk, amongst many, many other players. However, in this trap, white goes miserably and shamelessly wrong with bishop d3. Because here, now white is losing. Black wins material after knight c6, hitting the queen, which has to continue guarding that knight on the rim. A knight on the rim is dim. So if the queen guards the knight with queen c4, then knight e5 is going to fork the queen and the bishop. And after queen moves back to d4, knight takes d3 check, queen takes d3. Black picks up the knight on a4, and he's a piece up, and white here can resign. So this has been the Kudyshevitz catastrophe in the Sicilian e6 variation. I hope it was useful. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.